Hi everybody, it's Dorothy here from PrintCutAndCreate.com and I've got a video tutorial to, for you today for hump, a hybrid hump day. So welcome to Wednesday. Today we're going to work on the computer in a graphics program. Today I'm using PaintShop Pro version 12. Of course you can use any version that you'd like. You can even do this in Photoshop if you want, but um, I had a request for some, to show some things in PaintShop Pro, so I'm going to do that today. And what we're going to do today is, if you've noticed in a lot of my past um, video tutorials, when I've used digital paper, I've told you that I've printed off uh, usually two different papers on one sheet. Well, I'm going to show you how to arrange that in your graphics program so it saves you ink, it saves you paper, and it saves you time. Plus, you don't have to print out full whole sheets of all the different prints that you're going to need for any project that you're doing. The, on the screen right now are two examples of two cards that I made. And the first one on the left here is a peach and white uh, flower pack. There's using three different papers, all came from the same paper pack. And on the right is this, I needed five different papers. They're all from the same digital paper pack, but I needed just a little tiny bit of five different papers. And I'm going to show you how to arrange these two so that you can print them off and uh, save you lots of ink. So this is what we're going to do the first one. I printed out a whole sheet of the solid orange because I knew I was going to need quite a, a lot more of that. But with the polka dot background and this little flower background here, I knew I was only going to need a little bit. So I only needed a half a page each. So we have uh, just a little bit of polka dot and just a little bit of just two sections of this flowered one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to combine your digital papers right now. Okay, we're going to get this out of the way. First, open up your program and what you want to do is open up a new image. Now we're going to come up here and if you look through all of your presets here at the top, you will notice that in PaintShop Pro you don't automatically have settings for A4 paper or US letter size paper for that matter. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to create our own presets for this. So let's go ahead and do that. So go back to this section here. Now what I've done is I've already looked at the pixels because we're going to work in pixels um, of how many pixels a A4 and US letter size is. So here is the A4 size. It's 2480 by 3508 pixels. Set your resolution to 300.000 pixels per inch. Now once you've got that, hit your drop down preset button and hit the save icon. This will give you a chance to, to give a name to your preset and I'm just going to call it A4 paper size. Hit OK. Now you see it's in, it's in, your, in your list. Click on it. It comes up in your preset. You're all set open up a new image. Now we're going to do the same if you're if you're in America and you uh, need A4 letters, I mean do you need US letter size? We'll go ahead and open this up again and we're going to change it. The measurements are 2550 and 3300. Again, make sure your units is in pixels and 300 pixels per inch. Hit your preset drop down box, then hit the save icon and give this a name letter size paper, US letter size paper. Okay. And again, this is in your list and these are listed in alphabetical order. So you go ahead and click that. It shows up there. Your measurements are correct. Hit OK. You have an A4 paper, I mean US letter size paper. I work in A4. I'm going to stick with that for right now. So we've got our blank paper all ready to go. Now go ahead and open up some digital papers. So I'm going to go up and open up that flowered paper and I'm going to go ahead and open up the dotted paper. You've got them all open in your program. Let's go to your first paper and see this top bar where the name of the file is. Right click in that bar and this choice has come up and you want to hit copy. Go over to your blank sheet, right click in the same area and hit paste. Now you have some choices here. You're going to paste as a new layer and you're all set. Now let's do the same thing with your next paper. Right click copy, right click paste as new layer. But, let me close that, but we only need half of 
half of each one. Since if you look over here in your layer palette, one is on top of the other, added as a new layer. What you want to do is go ahead and hit your marquee selection tool, which is over here on the left. And you've got some settings in your toolbar. Go to this one right here, which is the custom selection. What we're going to do is add our own numbers in here. Um, you want the top at zero, the left at zero, your right is the full width of the paper, which so you can take that bar all the way over to the left, I'm sorry, to the right, and then your bottom, which is this number here, is half of the A4 height, which is 3508, and I calculated that out to 1754. We'll go ahead and hit OK, and now you see our marching ants all around our selection, and you want to just go ahead and hit the delete key. Go to Selections, select None, or you can right click and select None, and now you've got two pieces of paper on one. Just go to Layers, Flatten, Merge, All Flatten, and you can save it or you can print it directly from Paint Shop Pro. Easy, right? Very, very easy. Let's go ahead and close that, and I'll just remind you of the card. Oops, wrong card. There you go, and there you have all your papers ready to go. Now next, we're going to go ahead and open up another new image, and again, we're going to go to whatever size you use, whether it's A4 or U.S. letter. I'm using A4. Go ahead and move this over. Now we're going to do the same thing with the five papers. So I'm going to go to File Open, or your little open icon. I'm going to open each paper individually, and just, again, go to the top bar where the file name is, hit right click copy new image right click paste as new layer close it open your next paper right click copy right click paste as new layer now if you notice over in your layer palette here it's just adding one on top of the other open your next one right click on the name file copy right click paste this new layer two more right click copy right click paste as new layer and last one open file last paper right click copy right click paste as new layer. Now because I need little bits I'm not going to use exact measurements on this like I did with the half and half paper. So basically you just want to use your move tool which is here and just move your top layer down move your next layer down try to get them as even as you can, even as you can by sight um, like I said they don't need to be exact because we're just using small bits of each one. So we've got that. Let me go ahead and line them up a little bit so they're give you a little bit of choice. Now if you also want to make sure that everything's covered on the sides, so you don't want it looking like this. You want it all the way over on all your sides. That's the most important thing to line up. Everything else it just needs to be a little bit. And there you go. You just arrange all your papers, go to Layer, Merge, Flatten, and go ahead and save it, or go ahead and print it off directly from your graphics program here. And that's it. So then I just took a punch. I just took a, a, a one-inch flower punch and punched out a bunch of these flowers. If you notice there's two layers under each flower. Uh, I cut out before between four and six of each of the five papers and there you go. I just adhered them to a card and added a nice ribbon and we had a card. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions you can go ahead and ask me. If you want to see it in Photoshop let me know. I can add that as a quick video as well. But I uh, hope you break out your graphics program and combine your papers. It'll give you so many choices of your digital papers. There's tons out there to choose from and it's a way to save you ink and have a good time and have lots and lots of paper choices. So thanks for joining me today. Have a great weekend. Bye!